Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Thomas, back at it again with another video. Today's video is going to be... It's gonna be an interesting one, if I do say so myself. I am going to be reviewing the Manny MUA Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag Palette. I'm gonna give you guys a full-on review. I know I am so late to this party, but I honestly really want to start giving you guys like better reviews so like i have been playing with this for a since i got it in pr i've had it for about i want to say a week a week and a half two weeks i feel like i've had this for two one or two weeks i honestly can't remember i have used just about every single shade in this palette except for the black one and ugh, just me and black eyeshadow just don't just don't get along too well, and I just don't enjoy using black eyeshadow. So I have an eyelash stuck to the back of it. If you are not already subscribed, I'd love to have you a part of this little family I have going on here. We're pretty chill and we enjoy memes. A lot of people get mad that I say that, and I... Of all the things to get mad at, you get mad at that. I mean, have y'all seen my brows? Get mad at that. <laughs> Please give this video a huge thumbs up, it helps me out a lot, and please turn on the bell notification. Turn on my notifications, seriously, it helps me out so much, and you guys will be notified when I post the video, if you want to. You don't, you don't have to, but if you want to. Also, a lot of you are asking me where I got the Beauty Blender holder. I got it from this shop called The Cream Shop, C-R-E-M-E. -E. They sell this with a beauty sponge of their own, so they sell it together. Um, they don't sell this the sand separately, but it's like super cheap. The beauty sponge it comes with is not the best, but I like it because it comes with a cute little baby stand. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right on into this review. Okay, so spoiler alert, I have been playing with this palette for about two weeks now, ever since I got it in PR. By the way, Manny did send this to me. Thank you, Manny, so much. I was originally gonna film and post this video literally like the same weekend literally everyone else was posting their video but i i noticed that I, every time i do a review video it's basically just like a first impressions like i'm using it for the first time in that video typically or i'll just end up doing like a little update in the description box and i didn't want to do that i wanted to give you guys like a full on review where i've used this several times i'm able to use almost every single shade and i'm able to give you guys like a little bit more of a better review uh, rather than just kind of giving you guys like a first impressions type of situation because I know you guys are <laughs> Spending your coin on this. I'm not I got sent this in PR So I want you guys to be able to see if you're if it's worth it for you to buy with your own money So that's how I'm gonna be typically doing my reviews now So I might be late with reviews when it comes to products that are just coming out um, So please bear with me from now on if you want me to just do first impressions and you don't care about reviews, then definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And I will definitely go back to doing first impression type reviews. Spoiler alert, I do like this palette. Kinda. First things first, this palette retails for $45. You are getting two, four, six, wait, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 shades. Not, oh my God, am I Laura Lee review? I said something about 18 shades, and then I counted, and I counted 14, I was like, yeah, 14, I just said that, when in reality, I just said 18. I don't know, I'm kind of stupid. So, let me do the math real fast, so 14 divided by, f 14 divided by, 14 div 45 divided by 14 is three dollars and 21 cents and some extra numbers so that's a really good steal honestly like most single shadows from other companies are anywhere between four to six dollars some even ten dollars so you're getting 14 shadows for three dollars each plus a brush and some and a mirror so that's a pretty good deal in my opinion now as far as the packaging goes i as far as packaging goes, I hate it. I don't, I mean, hate is a, oh girl. We won't be doing this today. We won't, you just, you're gonna have to stay right there. I don't hate it. I just strongly do not like it. Um, I find the packaging on the unit carton, which I'll put right here. That's what the unit carton packaging looks like. I find that to be a lot nicer and a lot more luxurious and more chic than the packaging on the front of the actual palette and you see how 
right here, it's just super sleek. Like, look at this. That, to me, is a lot more luxurious. Like, if he would have blown up Life's a Drag right here, Lunar Beauty smaller right here, and put that in the front, or even put the unit carton packaging, the imaging on the unit carton, and put that in the front, that would have made a lot more sense to me, and it would have been a lot prettier. And I'm just not the biggest fan of the actual bordering around the mirror. I'm just being honest, that's how I feel about it. I feel like there's just too much going on here. I feel like there, it's just too busy. It's a busy, there's busy packaging that's going on here. And I was a little disappointed to find that the first launch was based around drag because I don't know. <laughs> I just was, I think I was expecting, not astrology, but just like themed around the universe. And like, like that would have been so cool. That's just my opinion on that. Now the actual packaging, the weight of the packaging feels heavy. It feels like, it feels like you're getting what you paid for. Most of you only care about what's inside the palette, so I totally understand if you don't give a shit about the actual packaging. I'm just a packaging snob. Yeah, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Now let's actually get into the quality of the eyeshadows. Now, like I said, I've been using these eyeshadows. I've done like three other looks with this palette, mostly all halo eyes and cut creases. I don't wanna hear it, okay? And I will say it's a very good palette. The, there's pigment there, like even this white, this white alone, as you can see, is very vibrant. What I like to do with my eyeshadow is I use my Urban Decay, and what you'll see in the demo, I like to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. I'll put that all over my lid and I won't set it. Like, I'll just have it nice and tacky. And then I'll go in with my eyeshadow so the eyeshadow is as pigmented and as vibrant as possible. And that's what I like to do with my eyeshadow. Now, most of these shadows don't like oxidize on impact, like once it goes onto that tacky base. However, the colors do sometimes tend to have like that kind of oxidation where it's a little bit darker around the like the outer corners and that's completely normal, especially with the yellow. If you put the yellow, I mean, I did it with the yellow today. And as you can see, like the outer corners are just a little bit, just the tiniest bit darker than the actual center of it. And that's just because I put it on a tackier base. I was trying a different concealer to cut my crease with and I used the NARS Radiant Creamy soft matte concealer to cut my crease and it was even more worse than an actual um, liquid concealer that's a cream concealer so maybe a liquid concealer is a little bit easier or better of an option to use but the yellow does kind of oxidize on impact when it's a wet base rather than a dry base i was gonna have my friend michael come in he's on a deeper complexion i was gonna swatch the shades on his arm but he's been busy with school graduating etc etc and our Schedules are completely different, so I wasn't able to do that. But I will say about deeper complexions, I was watching Jackie's video while I was doing my makeup today, and she said that it worked great on her skin. She said she would recommend it for deeper complexions. So if you want a deeper complexion, I'll link her video down below if you guys want to see it in action on a kind of deeper complexion. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as the palette goes, I really, really enjoy it. I don't see any problems with it. I feel like Fishy didn't need to be... He said, I mean, Manny said Fishy had a little bit sparkles in it for some reason um, to make it easier to blend, but I feel like it was kind of unnecessary. And I will agree with Jackie, because in her video she said there's not enough metallics. I would have appreciated it if there was some more metallics, because there's only two metallics in the palette. So I would have, here, listen, you gotta go. So I would have appreciated some more metallics, but it's okay, it's his first palette. I'm not kind of gonna gripe him on it. I, I mean, for his first launch, I appreciate the fact that he really went in and did color and he did neutrals as well. Now, another thing I will say is I wish that the actual layout of the palette was completely different. <laughs> I feel like there would have been a different way to make it more enticing for people because Manny got roasted for this for no fucking reason. If you roasted Manny for this palette, you're a hater. I feel like this palette could have been rearranged a little bit differently. That would have been more enticing to the, to the eye. Um, Cause to me, this was just like, boop, boop. It's it's very cut and dry, like there you go, this is color, this is neutral, these are warm tones, whatever. Now, another thing I've been hearing about this palette is the fact that it's technically supposed to be vegan um, because it's using red dyes. If you are sensitive to dyes rather than carmine, which is the bug thing, then I would stay away from this palette because it, I mean, I would stay away from most vegan palettes because they all have it. Jen Loves Reviews did a whole video on 
the dyes and stuff like that that's in this palette and like did a full-on in-depth review and research on this palette as far as dyes go so if you are concerned about that i will link that down below as well i'll have jackie's video and jen's video linked down below this is beautiful i feel like if you're on a deeper skin tone this will work for you i feel like if you love makeup if you love to be creative it blends beautifully they're buttery now I'm not going to do swatches. The reason why I'm not going to do swatches is because I don't think the swat swatches of this do not do it justice. I'm going to be completely real with you. I mean, like, the pink, that... I mean, you look at it, it's a little patchy and chalky, but trust me, the colors apply so much more beautifully on the eye than they do swatching on the skin. I'm just going to keep it real with you. I feel like people that judge palettes on swatches are unrealistic kind of people that's just me all in all i really do recommend this this palette i feel like it's a good palette i think it's worth the money i feel like if you guys are really interested in this palette then definitely go pick it up if it's still available i don't even know if it's sold out or not okay listen girl oh my god this bitch over here just thinking she can just do whatever she wants and she can't she can't do that but as you can see, I did this beautiful yellow pink eye, a little bit of purple in there to match my top. That's from seanceclothing.com, if you guys are wondering. My friends own that store, so definitely go support them. I definitely recommend this palette. Any information that I've mentioned or forgot to talk about in while I was talking and rambling for like 24 minutes, I will have on the screen and I will link all the information down below. And if I'll, I'll add more information down below as well. But besides that, I really recommend this palette. I think you guys will love it a lot. Congratulations, Manny, on this launch. It's a great palette. The shadows inside were amazing. Just this packaging. This packaging, girl. Just not a fan of that. Not a fan of not a fan of this. This, this side. This side is sickening. I don't know. I'm a I'm like a minimalistic kind of girl. I'm kind of like a you know, I'm minimalistic. So maybe, maybe I'm being a little too harsh, yeah? So I'm gonna give you guys a little up close. Kai Kai, that's fucking nasty, um, Manny, that's fucking nasty. For you to put Kai Kai in the stamp. There's, I've seen so many white girls pronounce, say Kai Kai and not even, like straight white girls saying Kai Kai in their, in their reviews and not even know what the hell Kai Kai means. Kai Kai's not PG or PG-13. It's rated R. It's, very, it's gross. Don't Google that. If you're under the age of 18, do not Google Kai Kai. <laughs> All right, so now that we got done with the review, you guys know I like this palette. Let's go on into the actual makeup tutorial demonstration part of this. We're going to go into voiceover mode for that. Um, I'm really excited for you guys to see this look because I really like this look. It's very pretty. I love how it matches my top. I usually never match my makeup to my top. Anyways... I love you guys. Let's get on in into this makeup tutorial. All right, so I'm first gonna prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Eden Primer Potion. I will not set this at all. I don't like setting my primer. I like having a tacky base to apply my eyeshadow. It really makes the eyeshadows pop with pigment. My transition shade, I'm gonna go into the shade Sickening. Um, just to put that all over the crease as just, like I said, a transition color. I uh, don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I'm doing. Uh, I don't even know why I use this as a transition shade. Now I'm going into the shade Kai Kai. Manny, you nasty for that. Um, and that's going to be like my main pop of color, the color that everyone's going to see in my crease. Again, I don't know why I used Sickening because Sickening will disappear very soon. Now going into Pageant Queen, which is a nice, beautiful purple. It reminds me of Gooey Gus. Has anyone watched Goosebumps as a kid? Do you remember Gooey Gus? Do you remember being traumatized by Gooey Gus? Yeah, me too. So now I'm going to cut my crease with my NARS um, Matte Concealer, the creamy concealer, the cream concealer that I was talking about earlier. And next, taking the shade Campy, which is a beautiful yellow shade. I'm going to put that in the middle of my lid, the middle of the little cut crease. And it, as you can see here, you can see a little bit of the oxid, oxidization, the oxid, oxidization 
that happened. Um, I had to apply a few layers to kind of get the full opacity of the yellow that I wanted. Um, but it did blend out pretty nicely once I was able to do all of that. Next, taking the shade Cake Face, I'm going to put that in my inner corner area. And yeah, and then I just put the yellow all over my lower lash line in case you missed it. All right, you guys, that is the end of the makeup tutorial. That's how I got this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know if you liked this review, if you like this format of this review and how I did it. If you don't, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. Um, give me a huge thumbs up. I appreciate it so much. Again, I'm going to BeautyCon the 14th, 14th and 15th of July. My merch comes out June 26th, if any of you guys are wondering. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>